Okay, so Harry, I've turned off the background so I can see the waves. Um, what I did, which I shouldn't have done, is um, I didn't select the layers that I was meant to be working on. So a lot of them have ended up on um, this first layer. Uh, so it doesn't really matter. It just makes it a bit more awkward when you're trying to sort out your layers and everything. So what I'm doing is I'm getting this wave, control C, control V. And then I am going to, I want it to sit behind the top wave. So I'm going to drag it up a bit so it's bigger. Uh, I'm going to put it back over here. And you can see there's a few gaps there. So I'm going to also rotate it. Uh, what I'm trying to do is um, fix up the gaps that are there. I don't want to move that other layer because that's in place. So if I drag it up without having the outline overlapping, that's almost and I can drag it across as well, so something like that. Now, um, that's sitting on top, I want it sitting underneath. So I'm going to select the background wave cap and I'm going to go Object, Arrange, Bring to Front. Now I've got that one sitting on top. Um, so this one, because it's sitting underneath, what I can see is that the lines are a little bit thicker. Um, so I want them the same. So I'll click on this line, it says 0.353 stroke. Uh, always easier if you round something up so it makes it easier to get everything consistent. So 0.353 and in future I would um, round it up to something more even. Um, now I might want to um, go back to here and fill it with a sort of grey blue because it's sitting underneath the other colour. So that's one option that you can do. Um, another option you can do is you can select this shape here and because you've got a bit of uh, shadow. We'll see if it works or not. Um, you can use the gradient tool. And what happens is you get um, the box over here. So we don't want it grey. We want to have um, some blue in there. So we could go here and we could click a colour. We could make one white and we could make one blue. Um, or vice versa. We can move this around. So play, have a play around with um, the angle. So we can have it going top to bottom uh, and then we can have the slider also making it much lighter. Uh, you've got radial blurs and things like that as well. So that's just something to play around with as well. Um, and it doesn't quite work, so I would just uh, get rid of that and just have it as a normal white fill. So go back here and do that. Um, so there's different options, but this is one and this is another. Okay, so the rest of your image is really easy um, where because now you know how to create shapes. So you've got three layers here. You've got one, the mid-tone and the lighter one. So you can draw your first one and then have your lines sort of overlapping. Use the Shape Builder tool to create those shapes as well. So I'm going to give you that challenge to finish off the rest of it. Good luck.